Is it all downhill after 30? Hey you guys, it's Christina. I've been having a lot of people message me lately and ask me, oh my gosh, what's changed for you now that you're 30? Is your metabolism slowing down? Are you getting fatter now that you're 30? <laughs> How does it feel to be old? It's the funniest thing ever because, you know, I really don't feel a difference. I feel like, yeah, I am another year older, but for me, the change is more on the inside than on the outside. For me, having so much more life experience, to be able to look back and say, oh my gosh, I've lived through this the past 10 years. I feel like my 20s was for learning valuable lessons, for really learning how to take challenging situations and turn them into growth opportunities. And I feel like I have enough life experience under my belt to not make the same mistakes again. And if I do, then maybe I didn't learn that lesson the hard way, because <laughs> I feel like I've learned so many valuable things in my 20s. And I believe that my 30s is going to be all about having prosperity and success and love and joy and moving forward with peace and harmony within myself and with everybody around me. So now to move on to the question that I've been getting a lot lately. Is it all downhill from 30? Am I getting fatter now that I'm 30? Is my metabolism slowing down? Oh boy, how do I answer that question? Is it all downhill from 30? No. I actually believe that it's all uphill from here. Think of it this way. When you're in your 20s, it's like you don't really have that much life experience. Your 20s is about giving you that life experience. You experience all of this stuff just to make you wiser and to be able to flow through things more smoothly as you get older. So no, I don't think it's going downhill. If anything, I think it's going uphill because it's like now that you've been through the worst, hopefully, <laughs> or you've been through some challenging situations, it can only go uphill from here. I will say this, I've been a raw vegan for almost 12 years now. On July 15th, it'll be 12 years for me. And I've loved every single minute of it. I'm gonna do a future video talking about do I plan to be a raw vegan forever. Totally different topic. Um, but for right now, let's talk about getting older in your metabolism. Is your metabolism even a thing? Is it a real thing? I've heard different perceptions on both. Some people say that metabolism isn't even a thing. It's not real. What you put in is what you get out. If you eat more than you are expending, then you're going to gain weight. If you're eating less than you're expending, you're going to lose weight. And some people say that metabolism doesn't really even exist when you're eating truly healthy foods. You're really just giving your body what it needs to thrive. I feel like when I was 18, 19, 20, I would eat anything, any type of fruit that I wanted all day, every day, and it wouldn't affect my weight. It was almost as if I was just this machine that just kept <laughs> like processing food and nothing would ever happen. And I remember I was regaining my health then. I think I still eat the same amount of food today. My diet has not changed that much. Um, I may be a little heavier, but I believe that it's for different reasons, like becoming a woman, blossoming into myself. Yes, I grew boobs. Yes, through I went through puberty and I went through all of these things that a woman goes through. And your body does change over time. Have I changed a lot? I don't think I've changed a lot to where somebody wouldn't recognize me or that it would be, you know, so much of a difference that people would say, oh my God, she doesn't look healthy because to the contrary, I actually feel better now in my skin than I ever, ever have before. When you're really young, your body's still developing. And believe it or not, but you need a lot of calories to grow, to come into your full human, <laughs> so to speak. You know, there's still a lot of parts of yourself that are still developing when you're in your teens and some people even in their early 20s. And I was a late bloomer. I've said this in many videos because I was sick all throughout my high school and my kid years. I didn't start becoming truly a woman and coming into my skin until like my early 20s, like my mid 20s. And so me being 30 now, I feel like I'm just now starting to be like a real woman and I love it. I feel like I could put on weight a lot easier now if I really tried. 
just by eating more fruits and more fats and eating more, I feel like I would gain weight a lot easier now rather than if it were 10 years ago. But I think that is understandable with age. I actually work out more now than I did back then. And I love it. I'm running now, I do training sessions now, boxing now, yoga now, all of the above. And even though I'm working out more now than I ever have, I still recognize that I'm not as thin as I used to be and that's okay. I'm not sure if that's a getting older thing. I'm not sure if that means I've put on more muscle or if that I'm taking better care of myself or perhaps it's a combination of really working my body and fueling myself and being in a truly healthy place. I will say this, I feel amazing. I have abundant energy. I love working out. Um, I just, I feel amazing. My skin feels clear, my digestion is good. What more can you say other than if you feel good, you feel good. So I think a lot of people want me to say, oh yeah, I feel totally different now that I'm 30. You know, I'm gaining weight easier, I have to work out harder, I have to do this, this much. But the thing is, is I think that every single day that you're alive and as you mature, you're gonna encounter that. It doesn't really matter what age you are. I know some people who are very young who have to work twice as hard to, you know, to be physically fit or whatnot. It's not just you hit the age 30 and then all of a sudden everything changes. I believe it's an ongoing process. Even when I was 28 and my weight got a little bit high, you know, I worked at lowering it then. I wasn't 30 then. I hadn't hit like the 3-0 and everything wasn't downhill from there. I think it's a process. And you never know, like my best days could be just around the corner in regards to physical health, mental health, and spiritual health. And I believe that all three of those things are key players and we should pay attention to every single one of them daily. So for those of you who are watching who are younger and who are afraid of turning 30, please just like get that fear out of your head. I actually feel amazing. I'm happy to be alive. Not much has changed for me. I'm still enjoying life. And if anything, this is an opportunity for me to prove the world wrong that like you can even be healthier and happier and more prosperous past the age of 30. 30 is not old, 30 is so young. I think my dad is young. My dad's 74 years old and he still runs with me all of the time. Young is a state of mind, right? Old is also a state of mind. If you think you're old, maybe you'll age yourself faster. If you think you're young, maybe you'll be young forever. It really is all about your perception and what your mind thinks. My judo is 93 years old and he still goes to work every day. He still goes for walks. He's still active. It's because he thinks that he's young and he is young at heart. So use that to your advantage. Don't ever let somebody say, oh my gosh, just because you're 30 now, have things changed for you? Are you getting old or this or this? The laws of physics still apply. <laughs> the laws of physics still apply here. So you're not old, as long as you keep your body moving well, if you're eating healthy, if you're sleeping well, everything else will fall into place. It doesn't matter what age you are. And for those of you who are over 30 watching this and if you need some encouragement or support, I'm here. I know I just got here to the decade of the 30s, but um, I'm excited to be here with you and I'm excited to pioneer this in a way where people won't be afraid to turn 30 anymore. I know everybody's like, so you're 21 now, right? And I'm like, no, I'm 30 and I'm so excited about it. I'm excited for this new decade in my life. Do I look a little different? Uh, yeah, because it's been 12 years. But for the most part, I think I still look pretty good. <laughs> I think I take pretty good care of myself. And I'm glad for the maturity that has come with all of these years, with all of these years of experience for myself. I feel wiser, I feel more grateful. Uh, the only thing that's really changed for me is that I'm eating a little bit more fat now in my diet. I am doing a lot more weightlifting and workouts that are heavier for me. I used to only just do running, but now I do running, yoga, boxing, weightlifting, training, all of the above. I put on muscle. I definitely feel stronger in my arms. I feel happy. I feel healthy in so many more levels deeper levels. I feel grateful that I'm still able to eat all the raw food that I desire. <laughs> I am a little bit more careful now to not overdo it. 
because I do realize that like when I was 18, 19, 20, I could get away with eating six durians and not noticing anything the same day <laughs> or not noticing any differences the next day. But now if I were to eat six durians, I, I'm not sure how I would be able to handle it. I think I would maybe gain a pound or two the next day. Maybe that's a sign of age, but that's not a sign of turning 30. I think that just happens over time. <laughs> and I, I don't recommend that anybody eat six durians. I did that before. It wasn't a good idea. Not in one sitting at least. <laughs> so if anybody's gonna ask me what's changed for me being 30, I would definitely say it would be the life experience, the maturity, how I've grown in the past decade. Mentally and spiritually, I definitely feel like I have taken it to the next level. I've definitely gone deeper. I've done deeper amounts of healing. I have been through so much and it has made me so much stronger for, for it. So I think that answers the question. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm 30, and I'm gonna continue to thrive and be the best version of myself. 30 ain't got nothing on me. We got plenty more work to do. If you guys have liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, and hit the subscribe button and join the family. If you wanna follow my social media daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter, all at Fully Raw and Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this day and I hope that you get to go and do the same. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye. I got this feeling rising through.